Welcome to the new Confederate Workshop. Today, Cloud will show how to cut an 8-foot 2x4 into two pieces and then nail the pieces together. Helping Cloud today in cutting and nailing the 2x4 will be Mike and myself. Cloud begins by carefully selecting a straight 2x4. Cloud further checks the 2x4 with a handheld laser alignment tool. Cloud needs to draw a line across the 2x4. He selects a number 2 lead pencil sharpened at an acute 20 degree angle with 0.311 inches of exposed lead. For accuracy, one must prevent heat from expanding the tape measure. Cloud keeps his tape measure at a standard 34.9 degrees Fahrenheit in his refrigerator. As Cloud marks the 2x4, Mike notices the sun is casting a shadow that might distort the line. To allow for the shadow's angle, Mike ascertains the position of the sun. Having corrected for the sun's shadow, Cloud uses his tape measure to mark the exact center of the 2x4. Cloud marks the 2x4 while Mike double-checks measurements and calculations. I am quite proud of this restored antique Commodore computer. This archaic machine runs on kerosene. Cloud will draw a line across the 2x4 using a square. Earlier, Mike checked that the square was totally accurate and true. After verifying that the square and tape measure were at the standard 39.4 degrees Fahrenheit temperature, Mike measured the square and using the Pythagorean theorem found the square to be accurate to within 2 minutes 30 seconds of 90 degrees. Mike triple checks the calculations. Then Cloud draws the line. While Cloud and Mike drew the line, I built a pair of sawhorses to hold the 2x4. I also built a jig to hold the 2x4 steady, and I built a second jig to hold the first jig steady. Cloud has his power saw ready. He checks that all safety procedures are followed. The first safety requirement is a plaid shirt. This reduces color monotony eye strain. Next, Cloud puts in earplugs. Next, external sound, vibration, and shock protectors. Cloud wears a medical mask for protection against unknown airborne pathogens. Cloud puts on his OSHA-approved back protector. He wears a special liner to prevent chafing from the OSHA-approved back protector. Cloud has numbered each finger and drawn alignment marks. In an accident, this facilitates surgical finger reattachment. Cloud puts on biological hazard gloves, then genuine leather gloves of Texas Longhorn cowhide. Meanwhile, Mike calls a nearby hospital emergency room to check their supply of Cloud's rare blood type. Mike makes sure Cloud is properly grounded. A little more safety equipment, and Cloud is ready. As Cloud sets up to saw the board, Mike checks that Cloud maintains the proper spine angle. Mike also checks the position of his own tool belt. A level and a sextant make this easy. Before Cloud saws, Mike takes one further precaution. Cloud is ready. He cuts the 2x4 without incident. While Cloud and Mike have been busy cutting the 2x4, I have installed a wet bar in my rascaler. With the 2x4 cut, it's time to nail the pieces together. Each nail must meet standard weight specifications. Cloud puts glue on the 2x4 pieces before nailing, never one to cut corners. Cloud insists on using fresh horse hoof glue. Mike made some for him yesterday. Since then, the glue mixture has simmered in his wife's chafing dish. What? Oh, yeah. This photo has been subpoenaed by Mike's wife's divorce lawyer. After Cloud has glued the 2x4, he measures the proper location for each nail. He uses a military surplus global positioning unit to verify longitude and latitude of each nail's position. He adjusts for barometric pressure, humidity, and dew point. 
Mike dials 911 just to make sure the 911 line is not busy. He calls his lawyers to verify that all liability risk has been minimized. Cloud drives the first nail. Cloud drives the second nail. While Cloud and Mike have been nailing the two boards together, I've helped my neighbor build a room addition. Finally, it's complete. An eight-foot, two-by-four, cut in half, and then the pieces glued and nailed together. For plans of this project, send $5.95 to the New Confederate Workshop. Join us next week on the New Confederate Workshop. We'll be using a crowbar to remove nails and separate two 2x4s.